Hey guys, welcome back to Dips Watch Demos. My name is Jackson and today we are checking out the Jam Pedals Ripley Fall. So this demo is a little different to my usual demos, I suppose. Um, first of all, I bought this pedal, so there's no sponsor or anything like that. No communication with jam pedals. I bought this pedal because I wanted it. Um, second of all, I haven't owned the pedal very long, less than a week now. Um, so really you're getting, instead of a comprehensive demo, I suppose, you're getting more of my first impressions, which is just a slightly different vibe. I guess first things first, what is the Ripley Fall? So, Bare Bones, it is a combination of two of their two of Jam's existing pedals. It is uh, their Ripple Phaser and their Waterfall Chorus and Vibrato in one box with a neat little extra feature in the middle. So the Ripple is a two-stage phaser. Um, usually I think phasers are two, uh, four-stage or upwards, but the two-stage is really, really nice, something that I've not experienced before. Um, the two-stage makes it really subtle but still pulsing in a way. It's really almost closer to a univibe sound, and I'm loving the phaser in this thing. The waterfall side of the pedal is a little bit more in-depth. Um, it's their chorus vibrato pedal. We have a switch here to switch between a chorus sound and a vibrato sound. Essentially, you're adding or taking away the dry signal to get differentiate between those two sounds. Controls are super simple though, we have speed and depth. We also have a plus and minus switch which kind of accentuates the depth of the modulation a little bit more in the plus side and is slightly more subtle in the minus side. The added feature that I talked about is this middle switch here which triples, I think, the speed of the chorus sound or vibrato sound. Um, this gives you really almost like a Leslie sound, almost like a ring modulator crossed with a Leslie, crossed with a chorus. It's really wild and it's a lot of fun. You can get some proper kind of jazz fusion-y tones, solo tones out of it, or some, like I said, some more rotary speaker chordal sounds. Really nice feature that I didn't think I'd be using as much as I am. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you. 
So what do I actually think about the pedal? First of all, let's talk about the looks, because we can't deny as guitarists that the looks are pretty important to us. And it's probably one of the best looking pedals I've ever seen. I love the look of this pedal. It's so colorful, so bright, so vibrant. The design is really cool. Um, it's it's kind of got almost like a homemade vibe about it, but it's executed really well. Um, the paint job has kind of got smears on it, but it's intentional and they're really, really uh, tasteful. Let's talk about sounds. So it's really analog and I love that because I've spent a lot of time with digital modulations recently and switching over to this more analog sound is so, so pleasing. As much as digital tries to emulate analog, there's something crunchy and warm about analog modulation that's so great. I'm loving the sounds in this pedal. Um, I'm going to use my Fender Player Mustang because uh, I'm in really enjoying that guitar at the moment. Into the pedal board with this on it, which has got a few other drives, fuzzers and delays and stuff. We may get some tones from other pedals as well just to stack and create some soundscapes for you guys. Going into the Victory V40 set up pretty clean but still pretty cranked. So it's really in the sweet spot. We're getting a nice bloom from the amplifier. Then it's going into the Bosswiser Tube Amp Expander, emulating a 212 cab mic'd up with a ribbon mic and an SM57 going straight into Logic, and that's what you guys are hearing as always. Mm-hmm. 
Thanks guys for checking out the video. If you like what you saw, please go subscribe and check out some more videos. Also, if you're so inclined, check out some of the affiliate links below. Really helps support the channel and I'll be really appreciative of that. Thanks guys and I'll see you in the next one.